Hey there! In this tutorial, we're going to be exploring water physics and how to create a simple water setup in Blender. Water physics is a great way to add realism to your animations or video game designs, and we'll be covering all the basics in this tutorial. So, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to set up our scene in Blender. Delete the default cube by selecting it and pressing the X key on your keyboard. Next, we need to add a UV sphere, which will be turned into water. To add a UV sphere, press Shift plus A. Select Mesh. Shade smooth it by right-clicking and selecting Shade Smooth. This will smooth the UV sphere's geometry. Now we need to add a box to act as the container for our water. There are a few different ways to achieve a container. The fastest way is to use Blender's Quick Liquid setting. To do this, with the UV sphere selected, press F3 and search for Quick. This will bring up a list of Quick settings Blender has, all very useful for their own cases. For us, we will be using Quick Liquid, so select that. This will create a container, scale it by 3. Press S to scale, and then 3 to scale it 3 times the size. Select the container and go to the Physics tab in the Properties panel. Under the Cache Option tab, change Type from Replay to Modular. Check Is Resumable. You can click the folder icon to choose where you want the water physics cache to be stored. You might be wondering what this does. When you simulate water physics, Blender calculates how the water interacts with other objects and how it moves over time. This data can be quite complex and requires a lot of computing power to calculate in real time. To avoid having to recalculate the simulation data every time you play or render the animation, Blender will store the simulation data in a cache file. Back in Blender, set the end frame in the cache option to 100 and also change the scene end frame to 100. Select the sphere. Inside the Physics tab, change flow behavior from geometry to inflow and check initial velocity. Change the source to 0.8. Select the container and inside the Physics tab, click Bake. Wait for the bake to end. Pressing play will show what we have so far. Press stop and reset back to frame 1. With the container selected, go to the Physics tab. Enable Mesh. Open the Mesh option and click Bake Mesh. If we press play again, we can see how it looks now. Much better. OK, press stop and reset back to frame 1. Inside the Render tab, set the Render Engine to Eevee. Go to World Properties and click Color and select Environment Texture. If you haven't already, get an HDR from sites like Polyhaven. Click Open and select the HDR. Switch to Scene View and you already have a pretty cool looking result, which could be used for something already. If you want to hide the HDR image, go to Render Properties, scroll down to Film and enable Transparent. If you want to edit the look of the water, select the water and go to the Shading tab. Delete the glass BSDF. Press Shift plus A and search for Principled BSDF. Add this and drag BSDF into Surface. You can change the color, making it look like milk or even add an image texture. And there you have it, a simple water container in Blender, using water physics. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you'll be able to use these techniques in your own projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blender tutorials.